What's poppin' is Enzo McFly. It's your girl, your car keys, I am. She what it do, man. This your boy, ESG. What's up, what's up? It's your girl, Angry here. It's your boy, Mikey Iso. What's up? It's your girl, Desiree Simone. And we K22 Radio, man. Y'all know what's going down. The biggest blood in America. Hey, man, you already know who it is. DJ Me What's going on, man? It's comedian Jeff Shelley. What's good, word? Show me DJ Shows. Say, man, it's Wapping Puerto Rico, man. Ah, baby boy, baby girl. It's your girl, B. Simone, and we catch. What's up, Houston? It's your boy, Quay. I just wrapped a dope ass interview with Catch 22. Yeah, it's Ron Holly. I just did an interview with Catch 22 Radio. You can follow me on social media, Ronna Holly underscore on Twitter, Ronna Holly. That's it. Yeah. So this is Justin Allen. Just finished the interview with Catch 22. Uh, y'all can follow me on Twitter, Justin Allen underscore 13. Instagram, same thing, Justin Allen underscore 13. Also, check out my, my facility, All In Sports Performance. Yeah. You're now rocking with the voice of the South. Catch 22 radio show on 92kills.com. Yo, 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 y'all don't understand, bro. Like, hey, bro, I, I literally want to get, bro. I want to get on social media and like record his countdown, y'all, just so y'all can see how awkward it is and it throws us <laughs> off. And we always feel like we got to pause when we coming back in because he does this awkward countdown. Like when he was like five, four, I thought this what he was going to be like five, four. <laughs> what? Come on, man. Like, hey, Raven went to, uh. What that Fresno school district, <laughs> Fort Bend school district, bro? They'll teach you how to they, count. Nah, they 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 taught them how to count in like the classes. It was on three of them. <laughs> they all they went to every class together. They had one teacher. They went to lunch before everybody else. <laughs> what is that bill? What is the bill for? <laughs> they took them. They took them on field trips to the grocery store to teach them how to live life. <laughs> and they really did that. Yes. <laughs> That's why I said I didn't even know they did that. Pretty Look, cool. Though. It's called life skills. They, they, they taught Brian Raymond life skills and stuff out of the count. All right, that's pretty All right, nice. y'all. Let's get into our interview, bro. We have two really, really, really dope individuals. We have a uh, Netflix star. Yeah, for sure. Um, we have two guys who are really, really dope at their talent. You know, um, sure. it's Man Cave Sunday, so you know it's only right that we brought some football stars in here. Yeah. Um, we have Mr. Ronald Ali. Yeah. And Justin uh, Allen. Yeah. What's happening, y'all? Good man, what's good? What's up? I, I know they probably seen it like, man, he do here crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. All right, man. So tell tell the people a little bit about what you guys are doing now. Like they know, like, well, not they know, but um, I'm pretty sure like people have approached y'all about football. So what what lane are y'all running in right now? Uh, I'm out here. Uh, I'm getting prepared for the draft right now. You know, uh, for my pro day, pro day March 21st in New Orleans. So I'm just out here training, getting ready for that. That's lit. That's dope. So, um, when you're getting ready for pro day, um, you know, like, what, what, what's your diet and, like, guess your workout look like every day? Because I know it's, it's strenuous. Yeah, it's the same thing, though. You know, it's the same thing. It really. It really what's a normal special. day as far as, like, eating and working out for you? A uh, normal day is waking up at 7, mm-hmm. working out from 8 to 9, 30, 10, you know, going to catch some lunch. Go back at like one thirty to like three, then I'll be done for the day. That's every, a lot of work. That's every out. day. That's every day. Every day but Sunday. Woo wee! <laughs> oh man, I can't work out like once a week. <laughs> <laughs> All day <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> for real, for real, bro. Everybody know you from the network. Well, I've watched uh, Last Chance. You. How did Last Chance you like change your life, huh? Uh, it changed my life just by being global. Yeah. By being international. Like, yeah. not, not just being a local, a local like person everybody knows. It's just travel out around the world and they're out around the country, you know, and everybody know me now. So that's that's like crazy. A, yeah, that's a blessing. So, based on being, you know, f- from from Netflix, like, how high did your vagina rate go up? Like, did it stay? <laughs> <laughs> look, look, look. Oh, this man can't look, this you know what I mean? Because look, 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 look. Because I know, like, you being a, a, a football player, already you was there. <laughs> <laughs> but then I see you on Netflix, you was like, you got some old text messages, yeah. then you got some new ones. So like, I got a lot of hey, big heads. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I got a lot of hey, big heads from some old cats. You know, I leave a USA. <laughs> did y'all expect it to do what it did, man? Because I didn't really see no. Pro- I don't know how I ended up starting watching Last Chance. You- it was on Netflix. You were just know, looking for I something new. Clicked. I think I just clicked. I don't think it that's was what I'm saying. You was looking for something new. It said just add. He was like, oh, okay, let me see what this is about. So, what did y'all expect it to be as big as it was? Nah, we really weren't expecting it to be all that huge, man. It just happened, and when it happened, we were just like, damn, that shit happened. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. All right. Man, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. So, you know, um, based on, you know, we, we've all played sports. Well, I play sports. I don't know about him. Mm-mm, I play women. <laughs> uh, and so you know watching the series and you know they was talking about how the coach like was really talking reckless and I was like y'all that is normal conversation in a locker room like how did it like kind of I guess uh, like how does talking like that like affect you as a player on both sides both of y'all uh, you go first. Uh, I mean I wasn't a part of that Okay. I'm just saying, like, have you ever had a coach to, to talk to you that way? Like, you know what I mean? I thought like, that was normal, bro. Yeah, that's, that's normal. Yeah, that's, yeah. Normal. that's normal. That's normal. You got to be able to take that. Yeah, you got to. You just got to have cojones. Thick skin. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. this the man cave. Like you say, you got to have cojones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. You got to have some cojones. Yeah. Everybody ain't built for it, though. Yeah, everybody, yeah. everybody ain't built for it. So after the last chance, you where did you actually – what were your steps to actually get into the draft at this moment? Like, where did you – like, after the show went off, what happened, man? Uh, after the show, man, it's a lot of – it's just everything really got – kind of crazy, you know, that's when, that's when stuff started getting hard, you know, like life started to happen, you know, uh, just family, you know, just all that, and uh, I kind of got my head lost in the sauce for a little minute, you know, and I had to bring my head back up for a little <laughs> while, you know what I'm saying, for a water, and, and then I found Justin, man, and it, shit, it's been a blessing ever since. Yeah, I was just about to ask how y'all boys end up linking up, because Justin, I read a little bit about you, too, because you were playing ball, did you get hurt or something happened to make you stop playing, or? Yeah, man, I had double hip reconstruction. Uh, mm-hmm. I was actually born with it. My brother, uh, Dwayne Allen, plays for the Patriots. Mm-hmm. Had the same surgery. Uh, we got hurt two weeks apart, and it was the same thing. Oh, so, man. Yeah, so that, that took me out. So why y'all end up going two directions? Like, he ended up going to the pros, and then you just said, okay, I'm going to go this route with it, or was it something decided? Or Man, to be honest, bro, it was all God. It was all God, because when I got hurt, I actually moved out there with him uh, when he was with the coach. Mm-hmm. And then uh, from there, I was just like, man, I'm not going to go back to school. I already graduated, and I just I came back to Houston and started working with kids. And I, th- I was in depression at that point. Right, mm-hmm. I was going to answer that. I was going through depression at that point, man, and nobody really knew it but him. And uh, when I came back to Houston, I started working with, with, with some little kids, and I'll never forget uh, Lil' Q. I just told him one time, I believe in you, and, and he just started. His game just went to a whole nother level, and I was just like, man, I just impacted the kids just with, you know what I'm saying, telling them something I really believe in and just telling them I believe in them. He just... It was just crazy, and I just ran with it from there. All right, so when, when you start looking for people, did you start reaching out to certain people saying, like, look, I see the talent in you, I actually want to train you, or did they all just start coming to you? Nah, it was actually uh, word of mouth, man. Uh, I just I was working with um, some, some some of the younger boys in my in my neighborhood, right. and then uh, they started producing on the field, and then from there it just started to grow. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm live on social media, so um, as they posting and I'm posting, it just started to – the word just started to spread, That's and crazy. I just started to get better at what I do and fell in love with it. That's live. So okay. how y'all boys end up meeting? How you and Ron end up meeting? Man, I had a facility, uh, my first my first facility, uh, and he came in to get a haircut with our Barbara Faye game, and I didn't even know who he was. I had never watched the show. Everybody taking pictures of him. I'm like, man, why are they taking pictures of this dude? Who is this? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I, I, I'm not that type of dude, man. So I, I really ain't even say nothing to him because I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? I'm not that type of dude. Right. You know what I'm saying? I respected who he was, say what's up. But when he left, I was, it was like, yeah, he played football. I was like, play football? Why he here? He should be in school. So I actually hit him up on Twitter and was like, yo, why you, why you in Houston? You're supposed to be playing ball. And then he, uh, he ran me the story about what he was going through. And I felt it was kind of similar to what I went through as, as a kid. And right. um, so I was like, man, I got to figure out a way to help him. You know what I'm saying? And so I was like, I was like come up here next week when I get back in town. And um, we're going to get you in the workout and see where you at. And he, was, he had some people in the area trying to tell him to go pro. And I was like, go pro? What would you do to go pro? You know what I mean? And from there, we just ran with it, man. I just told him what he had to do, um, get in shape, get his mind right, and focus up on the, on the right things and, and let the, the, the other things just roll off his shoulder. You That's know real. What I'm saying? That's real. All right. Well, we're going to take a, a, a quick uh, intermission. We're going to do a little uh, quick mix. And then when we get back, we got more with uh, Ali and Justin. It's Catch-22 uh, Radio, Man Cave Sunday. Let's get it. I, I just want to let right. you know, Ray, that there's no such thing as an African taco. <laughs> I'm not Period. saying that's a, it no, might be, it I'm might not saying no a such thing. I'm saying they got Mexican restaurants in Africa. They don't. They do. They, that sounds blasphemous. <laughs> <laughs> to what? You got a you got a Mexican restaurant in Africa. 
We got Mexican restaurants over here. We make Tex Mex. Oh my God. It's a difference. <laughs> and we close to Mexico. <laughs> so we back, y'all. Uh, y'all, y'all, it's just foolery that happens once the mics is off. I'm sitting here arguing about Africa having tacos. So we back with our interview, y'all. I'm, I apologize. With um Ali and Justin. So now that you guys, I guess, are working on like a, a program for like the youth. Um, where do you see like the direction or where do you guys want that to go? Um, for me, really, uh, I really want to, you know what I'm saying, get out in the community more um, and, and really touch the whole Ace Town, man, trying to get everybody on board. I see All In as a movement, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people uh, connected to me, my last name and stuff like that, but it ain't even, it's bigger than that. It's a movement to help these, the youth, really, uh, mm-hmm. give them something we ain't have and uh, just really change the generation. So you're doing only football? So I nah, just, hold on. First of all, I just made the connection that all in is spelled like Allen. Like, in my mind, oh, I didn't catch that. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, okay, keep going. Yeah, Go be. <laughs> yeah, so now I was asking you, is it just all for football? Is everything that you're nah, doing? Nah, that's, that's the crazy part, man. I actually didn't even play football until I got to college. So basketball is really my first love. So um, we really do all sports, man. Uh, got some great trainers with me. Um, uh, Josh Hill played in the NFL. The Cardinals a little bit. He helped me out. Um, Kevin played at Oklahoma State. Uh, so we really do it all, man. All sports. Yeah. Okay. So uh, what made you like transition in college? You know, from basketball to football. Uh, my hips. My mm. hips. Um, I, I'm talking about. I couldn't get up some nights. Mm. Uh, it'll be 3 a.m. and my hip out of place. I gotta ask my roommate. Man, I need to help to the bathroom. And after so long, I was like, man, I can't be asking no grown man to help me to the bathroom. Right. So I switched. To, I was like, I gotta switch to football. It sounds crazy, but yeah. football is a lot better. Yeah. Because you know what I'm saying, you getting hit, but it ain't like you think. You know what I'm saying? Unless right. just you ain't paying attention, but. Yeah. Or so, let somebody like him hit you. Like, it's different. <laughs> it's different. Hey, the objective is not let somebody <laughs> So, Ali, what, what's the difference between working with other trainers and working with just? Uh, Justin, really, the uh, only trainer I ever worked with. Really? Yeah, I, I had before. I just, man, I ain't gonna lie. I watched Friday Night Lights in high school. Right. I thought I was booby mobs. <laughs> <laughs> Real Practice. Talk. Real talk. It wasn't. God given, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm just, it's God given. I don't, you know what I'm saying. I don't need nothing. God gave it to me, you know what I'm saying. So I'm just out here like booby miles, and that's my first time really actually getting a training, and I can't wait to see my, you know what I'm saying, the results. That's about- so having that, that that mind state, do you feel like it more hurt you or helped you? I would say it taught me a lesson. Okay. I want to say it hurt me, or helped me. I say it taught me a lesson, you know, because I I learned from it. I learned from having that attitude and, and from the attitude that I got right now, it's it's totally different. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, yeah, like, yeah, because uh, on the show you even like going to class. I said this man ain't never in class. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, bro, it was, it was, I'm telling you, I really thought I'd boob in my eyes, bro. <laughs> All right, so look, you know, cause y'all y'all tried to play my state, cause y'all out there, you know, in Mississippi, and y'all was just like, you know, ain't nothing out here to do. It's a lot of stuff to do in my city. No, 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 look, look. I've so, been in Mississippi for Whatever. <laughs> I so, can't vouch on that. I can't vouch on that. <laughs> I mean, that, don't get me wrong. It ain't Houston. Okay. But it's, you know what I mean? So, like, I guess going from, like, high school and then having to go out to, you know, Mississippi where there's nothing, like, how do you remain focused on the task at hand? It, de- it just depends on what you're trying to do. Like, it all depends on what you're trying to do and where you're trying to go. And shit, that promise you that, like, that won't... It, it won't knock you out from focus, okay. especially if you if you don't want to go back to what you used to saying or accustomed to saying. You ain't trying to go. You ain't trying to be the. You ain't trying to you know what I'm saying be around that atmosphere, have that vibe, have that energy around. So, so transferring from you know um, the the JUCO to what where you go to school? I went to Nickel State. University. Nickel State, Nickel State. So you was in Louisiana. Yeah. All right. So transferring there, you know, being on Netflix, like. How did the the hype surrounding you come in, like impact like the team or like do you feel like everybody was like welcoming when you came in or kind of like you know what I mean he ain't he really as good as he think he is? Yeah, actually, uh, I got to Nichols before the show actually came out. Right. Oh. So, yeah, so it was like it was like I'm there and like everybody you know what I'm saying I'm getting to know everybody and then when I finally get to, like when I'm like a weekend I tell everybody like hey I'm on a Netflix show. 
they like, nah, man, you playing, you playing. I'm like, nah, I'm, I'm dead. Like, for real. You right, know what I'm right. saying? Like, <laughs> like, it's coming. I'm letting y'all know. I'm letting y'all know. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? So, we we uh we went, went to training, man. We started training that summer, and then we left, and we had to come back. And when I left, when we left from school, like, the show had dropped. Mm-hmm. And then I came back, and, yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it was crazy. All right, so going into the draft now, man, you know, how are people, like your family and friends, like, uh, is anybody, because like, I, I would think that it would be different knowing that people think you're going to come into some big money, man. Yeah, it's, it's been, everything been cool. I, been, I, still, I still got the same people that I've been, you know what I'm saying, since I was little, you know, and everybody around me here since I was little, and that don't change. Yeah. I know people, you know what I'm saying, I know the, the new people, the new faces who trying to come in and what they trying to get, and. I, know, I just know it. Yeah. So you mean <laughs> like younger? Cause like you're not a little dude. So I don't think you've ever been little. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know right. what I mean? People, like right. when you say little, like okay, like he was no, you was yeah, never yeah. little. I'm gonna say young. Dude. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even gonna say young. I'm gonna say younger. <laughs> younger. All right, Justin. I was reading an article and it was saying something about Odell Beckham Senior working with you. How did that end up coming about? Are y'all still working together? Yeah, man. That's 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 really big, homie, man. Uh, I'm actually. Uh, train his, his younger son Cordell. He's playing on my 707 team, and uh, his, step, his stepson um, uh, Bruce Thompson. Mm-hmm. Um, he's actually living with me right now. He's trying to get back in the league. Uh, he's with the Saints for a little bit. So um, it started off with a, a genuine relationship, man. Just training the, the kids. Um, he, he saw. He basically said, "Man, I see my myself in you. You know what I'm saying? And I want to help you out." And from there, he's just been, you know, what I'm saying, showing me the ropes and, and you know, what I'm saying, dropping knowledge on me and, and making sure everything good. So. Do you think you ever want to work for the NFL, like as a trainer or doing uh, something? You- my end goal, I want to be a GM, man. I, I mean, you know, of course, would we'll love to own a team, but I want to be a GM. Uh, I think I got an eye for talent. I think I, I, I'm good friends with Elliot Wolf from the Browns. Um, you know what I'm saying? Sent him a couple of players, and um, he drafted one of my boys. I told him about Aaron Jones about three years ago. He didn't even know who Aaron Jones was. And then next thing you know, Aaron Jones led the league in yards per carry this year. So, uh, just building s- slowly and, um, you know what I'm saying, That's dope, respect bro. For, the, for the scouting. That's a lot of respect, bro. That's Most dope. Definitely. All right. Well, you know, guys, it's been it's been a pleasure. You know, it's Man Cave Sunday, so we about to get into some more foolery. Let them people know where they can find you on social media. Uh, you can find me on social media, uh, on Instagram, Ronald Ali underscore, and on Twitter, I'm Ronald Ali. That's real. Yeah, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram, Justin Allen underscore 13. Okay. <clears throat> Plug anything that you guys have coming up, like, in the future. I know you say you got, like, draft day. So, do you have anything, like, within, like, your realm that you want to plug real quick? Uh, I mean, I just opened my facility. Um, it's in the spring area. Uh, all in sports performance. That's in Africa. Man, that's far. We just were talking about <laughs> They ain't got no tacos out there. <laughs> they definitely got no tacos out there. <laughs> <laughs> definitely got no tacos out there. Hey, we was about to be homies and everything. I was going to tell you, hey, bro, like, you got something going on, we'll show up. If you do it in the spring, <laughs> <I'll>... <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, man. man. Nah. Yeah, man. So, the facility, man, I'm going to have my uh, grand opening sometime uh, when, the, when the school let out, but uh, just opened up. Do you walk with all age groups? All age groups. Usually start at four, all the way up to professional, of course. All right. That's dope, man. Now, we'll show up there for Make sure you keep us posted on anything. I know you said you want to get out into the communities more. That's something that we're trying to reach out to, um, too. So make sure you just keep us in the loop. And we'll come out there and make sure we support, too, bro. Definitely, definitely. definitely. That. All right, we're going to go into a mix, and when we come back, we got more foolery. It's Man Cave Sunday. It's Catch-22 Radio, and we about to go up. You're, you're now rocking with the voice of the South. Catch-22 Radio Show on 92kills.com. Say you want someone